If you've ever wanted to eat frog legs, this is the video for you because today we are making the national dish of Dominica, frog legs. So keep on watching and we're gonna go through the steps right now. My name is Alexandria and this is the Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world and today we are visiting Dominica from our kitchen. We're going to be making the national dish of Dominica which is called mountain chicken but it's not what you think, it's actually frog legs. So we're going to be frying up some frog legs right now and I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing that you're going to need to get started is the vegetable side dish that we're going to be making. So in order to make the vegetables on the side, I have one plantain, one green pepper, and one sweet potato. To start off peeling our plantain, we're going to cut both ends off of the plantain. Then we're going to use a knife the front to cut the one peel. line down the front of the peel and one line down the back of the peel. Then you're going to use your hands to remove the peel in two pieces. So that one came off and then we'll remove that piece too. Use your knife and cut this into rounds. And we're gonna put that on a baking tray. Next up, we have a green pepper. So I'm gonna cut my green pepper into quarters, kind of cut around the core. And I'm gonna cut this green pepper into strips. Try to make sure you don't get any seeds in there. If I ever get seeds that are hanging out in one of the pieces of green pepper, I just go to the sink and rinse it out with some water. Last thing we're gonna do is take our sweet potato and peel it with a vegetable peeler. We are gonna use our knife to cut the sweet potato in half lengthwise. And then I always cut it into strips, each half into some strips, and then we're gonna use those strips to cube it up. I have about two tablespoons of olive oil that I'm going to drizzle on the vegetables. I'm gonna sprinkle some kosher salt on there and some black pepper. And I'm gonna use my hands and just toss all the vegetables, make sure that they all get coated in the olive oil the salt and the pepper, kind of mix it up a little bit. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees and I'm gonna put this baking tray in the oven until the vegetables are soft. I'm gonna start with 20 minutes and check them, but it might be between 20 and 35 minutes depending on how your oven cooks. All right, the next thing we need to do is marinate our frog legs. So I have six frog legs here and a frog leg is a pear. So this is considered one frog leg. You need six of these. Look at that frog badonk. Put the frog butts in a Ziploc bag. And into that Ziploc bag, we're also gonna add a quarter cup of lime juice. Recommend fresh squeezed if you can. If you can't find it pre-bottled is fine. One tablespoon of red wine vinegar. One teaspoon of ground thyme. If you're using fresh thyme and you wanna use the leaves, you can use two teaspoons of that. One teaspoon of chopped garlic. A half teaspoon of black pepper. And a half teaspoon of salt. All right, you're gonna mix all these ingredients up and then you're gonna leave this to marinate in the fridge for about an hour or so. So I took my frog legs out of the fridge. I have one half cup of all-purpose flour that I'm gonna put in a shallow bowl so that I can dredge my frog legs in the flour. I'm then gonna take my marinated frog legs out of the bag and just dip them in flour so that they're covered on both sides. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Could go on a little walk. <laughs> So despite an abundance of water and wildlife and plants in Dominica, there are actually only four amphibians in the entire country. And one of those amphibians was called the crawpod, and I might be pronouncing that incorrectly, but it was a frog that was pretty large and it was so abundant in the country that the people of Dominica started frying up the legs of the frog and it became so popular that it was called mountain chicken and was deemed the national dish of Dominica. Unfortunately, in the early 2000s, that specific type of frog um, started contracting a fungal infection that ended up almost killing off the entire species. So now the crawpot is almost nearing extinction and you won't find it on the plates of the people in Dominica anymore. So we're kind of emulating the national dish without actually having it. I'm just using frog legs that I went to my local butcher and purchased from them. It's not the crawpods, species, but it is a frog. Now we get to cook the frog legs. So I have a cast iron skillet heating up over high heat with maybe about a quarter inch or so of vegetable oil. I have my floured frog legs that I am going to drop into the oil. You know that the oil is hot enough when you put the frog leg into the oil and it starts to bubble immediately. These guys are pretty tiny, so they cook pretty quick. So when you see that the skin is start to brown on the outside, normally they're cooked in the middle. They're supposed to be cooked to about 145 degrees internal temperature. That's how you know that they're done. But you can also base it off of eyesight because a finished cooked frog leg will look a lot like cooked dark meat of chicken. 
So now it's easy to see that yes, you can make frog legs at home. You can experience Dominica from your kitchen and it's actually pretty quick and easy to do. Thank you so much for watching this video, everyone. It was so fun hanging out with you. If you need the written instructions for this recipe, you can find them in the description of the video. Don't forget to check out all of the other awesome dishes that we have on my YouTube channel, including some national favorites like Dronicky from Belarus. Don't forget to put some culture in your kitchen this week and I will see you next week.